Oh. Now we're good. Yeah, now. We're good. All right, we're gonna start. So thank you for coming. This is the soul-crushing world of game audio. Oh no, wait. It's actually making music from hobby to profession. <laughs> and um, this, you know, this does have a bit of a, a lean towards game audio, but um, most of what we're saying applies really for any any professional music that you want to do. Um, so just to get an idea of um, our audience, um, how many of you here play an instrument or um, you know want to play an instrument? Raise your hand. Wow, okay. And um, how many of you here compose or want to compose? Okay, good. So this will be relevant for a lot of people. Can I get a hand of sound designers? Yeah, sound designers. <coughs> okay. Oh, great. All right. So. I just so, wanted to shut up. <laughs> All right, so just real quick, we're just going to go through the introductions uh, quickly. Um, I'm Andrew Aversa. Uh, some of the things I worked on recently are uh, Monkey Island 2 Special Edition at LucasArts. Um, I worked on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix with OC Remix, and I'm working on a uh, PSP, PS3, 360 game, but I can't say anything about it. Um, so, yeah. Yay, NDA. Yes, NDA. Yay, NDA. I'm Jillian Aversa. Um, I'm a vocalist and I'm also a songwriter, but my songwriting doesn't come into play so much with um, the game audio stuff that I do, so I'm not going to talk about it really. But um, I was recently, uh, I performed as a soloist on the soundtrack to God of War, Ghost of Sparta. Um, and if any of you have, play have played that, it's on uh, PSP and it's the, the level that's like Aronia Mountains. So, um, And then I I've also done um, vocals on Civilization IV Beyond the Sword. I'm Jimmy Henson. Um, I recently worked uh, with Jack Wall on the Wallace Sound team on Mass Effect 2. Um, it's not listed up there, but I've also done some work for uh, like Scripps uh, Networks, which uh, does like HGTV and DIY and fine living and uh, uh, that kind of stuff. And uh, before that, um, uh, along with Andy, and was anybody else in here on, uh, on HD Remix? Almost. <laughs> okay, so now I guess just me and Andy. Uh, we're on Super Street Fighter 2 uh, Turbo HD Remix. Hey, I'm uh, Wilbert Roger. I'm an in-house composer at LucasArts, and I uh, recently wrote for Star Wars The Old Republic, and uh, led the team on Monkey Island 2 Special Edition, and hired that guy. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for Okay, so um, now we're going to play you a little video. Um, just to sort of give you a sense of before and after examples of when, when all of us were first starting out versus how we sound today. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll just start playing. <laughs>
There you have it. The <laughs> end. <laughs> nice yeah. 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 So I actually had worse stuff than that, but it wasn't original. It was all my crappy old remixes, so, um, you know. But I still have them. Overcoat Remembers, yes. when I first came into uh, OC <laughs> Remix as uh, Silverhawk instead of Zircon. It was before I was even DJ Zircon. But uh, anyway, so just real quick, um, just to go into our, our backgrounds a little bit more. Um, I started out, uh, I wasn't really a, um, you know, aspiring to be a professional musician at all. I, I played the piano a little bit, you know, I didn't do it seriously. Uh, I was going to go to business school, and um, when I found OC Remix, I was basically so inspired by it that I really wanted to do, to, uh, do it myself and make my own remixes. So I made about 50 crappy Fantasy Star 4 remixes, and then, um, <laughs> which is Bail for sale! Yeah, bail for sale, right. Um, and then after that, uh, basically, you know, I, I decided to go to a music, uh, get a, a degree in music industry, music business, and production. And um, you know, I started. I said, I, you know, I want to make music my profession. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about how I broke in later. But that's sort of my background before getting into music. Um, just to double check, does anybody in here not know um, what OC Remix is? And don't be shy. Uh, raise your hand if you don't know. Oh, shut up. <laughs> okay, wait, no, but we do have a few people. So, so just to make sure, because, you know, a lot of us, um, well, really all of us have some background in OC Remix. Um, that's, OC Remix is short for Overclocked Remix, um, and the URL is www.ocremix.org. And it's basically, it's a community of um, hobbyist musicians, but, you know, a lot of them are, like, really professional sounding, um, that remix songs from video games. But we're not talking about just, you know, Boomtis remix. Like, you have to well, actually... I, <laughs> <laughs> when you submit, like, you know, there are standards about, like, arrangement versus, you know, new interpretation. I mean, uh, you know what I mean. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, definitely check that out because um, it's a wonderful community. As you're starting out, um, you can really, like, learn a lot there. Um, anyway, so a little bit of my background. Um, I started singing, uh, as you can see, I started when I was about five or six years old. Um, my my dad uh, like has, you know, a home studio kind of thing, but he really was just a hobbyist. Um, and he decided to make that little rainforest song, and so you know that was the first song I ever recorded. And um, and you know, growing up, I just I sang a lot of choirs, and um, you know, I I went to musical theater camps and um, that sort of thing. So you know, I have like a stronger background in performance up until um, college, and um, when I decided to finally um, make uh, music you know, for sure, my career. So um, I went to the Peabody Conservatory of Music, Woo. dubbed it too. <laughs> and um, and I, I went there for classical voice. Um, so I did a lot of opera and stuff. Um, but it really wasn't until I found OC Remix that I started getting into composing as well, or at least doing remixes. <laughs> and then that led into um, uh, experimenting with writing my own original music. And so I... Um, I released a couple albums um, back in 2008 of sort of new age world music, um, sort of like Lorena McKennett, and um, and you know I met my husband Andrew. He wasn't my husband when I first met him, but <laughs> um, we actually met through OC Remix. So definitely, you know, good place to go. And <laughs> really for dating, no. Doesn't work for everyone. But yeah, so that that basically brings me up to today. So, I'll pass it down. Yeah, um, I'm still Wilbert Roger. We haven't switched or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, my background is actually kind of boring because uh, I started, you know, classical piano since so I was like four, and literally sophomore year of high school, you know, I played uh, my first my first game console was a PlayStation One. So uh, you know, I played FF7, and that was actually the game that said, "You know what? You need to write video game music." <laughs> and that's actually pretty much all there is to it. I mean, you know, I did like little projects first, and uh, some things basically fell into lap that were really good, and I got the LucasArts gig. Um, we can expand on that later. And I went to college at some point. <laughs> <Damn. clears throat> Yale School of Driving. I can parallel park. <laughs> like, uh, this much. This. No, but uh, basically, you know, I majored in music and um, just, you know, kept on the line for, you know, studying orchestration, taught myself a bunch of instruments, and uh, 
eventually, you know, just got to a point where I was taking gigs and doing film music as well, and um, also started a sample library company called uh, Impact Soundworks. And uh, yeah, you know, one thing led to another, and here I am. Is this microphone going to work? I'm so thrilled. Um, I started playing the piano when I was like five. Um, I think I had a, a lot in common with Will's background, actually. I, I didn't really um, play a lot of video games. My parents would not let me have a console because they thought I would play it too much. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's a ridiculous notion. I would never, <laughs> ever spend too much time playing video games. But they did, however, allow me to have a Game Boy. And, uh, like, the original one with, like, you know, the, the green and blue screen or whatever. So, and uh, it's really, you know, the best sound chip. I'm saying my own... Know, humble opinion of all the sound chips, and so uh, yeah, I found Overclocked Remix uh, in, I don't know, maybe 2003-ish or so. Um, the very first remix I ever downloaded and listened to was one by Z Zutra. Um, I never say that right, but, uh, and he, even by back then, like back then the site was still pretty young and the, the submissions weren't always quite as epic as they are kind of lately, but um, I mean, his was really, was really top-notch back then, so that kind of set a really high bar for me, so uh, I picked up FL Studio, um, sometime around that time and uh, spent time learning it and, um, and it turned out pretty well because uh, I, I used the FL Studio on Mass Effect which uh, is, is pretty unheard of. Nobody, <laughs> not not very many people use FL Studio except like me and Andy are, are pretty much it. <laughs> so. well, in terms of professional. It's yeah, in terms of professional. I mean like... Yeah, a lot of people pirate it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a lot of people pirate it. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but uh, if, if you're not making like you know boomtis or, or hip hop or whatnot like on a professional level, then most people don't even know what it is. So um, I might have been in the high school band at some point. I might have played a trumpet. I don't know. <laughs> that picture um, was not of 1999. I think it was like 95, maybe. So the music was, the, the, the music was 1990. <clears throat> just to just to clear that up. So that is us.